Hey, honey, can you see me? Ah, Dorothy. Yeah, I can see you, why? Really? Man, did they sell me the wrong stuff? Who sold you what? Jill, I'm going out for a bit to buy a screwdriver and bacon, and... Are you talking to yourself again? Wait, what? Is she invisible? To other people at least? No, I'm not. Hello! Oh, hello Dorothy, wherever you are. I'll be back in a bit then. She didn't see you? Oh, I get it now. They sold me Vic Jammer, not an optic camouflage system. Uh, care to explain? Have you seen those pics or videos of someone stripping or undressing? But, I mean, the ones where the clothes are the only thing you see and the other person is invisible. Come again? There's people out there with a fetish for invisible people. Ain't that the truth. Especially after seeing the community for, uh, what, what's it called, uh, My Hero Academia. I haven't, I haven't watched it yet, but I know there's an invisible chick in that and people have gone crazy over that invisible person. Literally crazy. Especially in, like, Reddit communities and stuff. So, yeah, it's, uh, yeah. Yeah, there's there's a pretty big community for that shit. I'm not gonna lie. Where you can only see a few articles of clothing, clothes floating about? I was trying to find something that would let me cater to that fetish, but my contact misunderstood my request. I asked him to bring me something that'd make me invisible, and he did. But I'm only invisible to cameras. Oh, and the helmet has a, basically a camera to view things, so... Even then, wouldn't your clothes be invisible too with such a jammer or something? Hmm, you have a point. Oh well, I'll work something out. Maybe I'll get nano cam module, camo module. Nano camo? Haven't you heard of a nano camo? They're a military technology company that recently branched to civilian appliances. They use nanotechnology to make fabric or other materials take any color or texture you want. You can order a module from them, and change the colors of clothes, walls, or tables with it. Huh, sounds interesting, maybe I'll look it up. What does that have to do with what you want though? If I remember correctly, they have a module that makes things almost invisible to the human eye. It was quite pricey the last, last time I checked though. Almost, to the human eye. Well, it's not perfect, if you move you'd be an eerie, you'd be an eerie surroundings colored blob. And we Lilims see things differently, so it's ineffective against us. Still, it might be what I need. Oh, so she's a Lilim, okay. Now, what was that about talking to yourself again? Nothing important. What are you having? I'm in a good mood, so give me a Piano Woman. Sure. Who wants a Piano Woman? Simple enough. She really want a piano woman? I guess. Sure, she's in a good mood. So how early can I stop this mixing? I'm gonna try like right here. Hey, it works. One piano woman. Thanks, I love these ones, you know? I keep them for special occasions, whenever I'm feeling good, or when I need to get out of a slump. And today? Today I feel good. That's nice. Okay then, how's this for a bonus payment? Oh, the, the ticket from Friday. Can't believe I still remember that. That guy was so nice in giving it to me. Too bad it was filled to the brim with dogs. I would have enjoyed the drink here otherwise. I don't think this ticket should be valid. But then again, they were improvised. So there really isn't there isn't really a contract involved or anything. You know? Huh? If you're lonely enough to start talking to yourself, we could hit an arrangement. Keep me fed and I'll keep you company. You'll still need to pay if you want to get naughty though. I think I'll pass. I already have a cat that does all that. Do you pay him to <laughs> Finish that sentence, and I'll make sure you truly become invisible. Fine. Consider this a standing offer, though. Oh, hey, John. Uh, Dorothy. Didn't see you here last Friday. I was dealing with some stuff over the weekend. 
And Monday. Yeah, yeah. Was that a girl? I wish. What did you do? What did you do? I'd rather not talk about it. Hey, honey, what did he do? Gil's been a complete mystery for so long as I've known him. For as long as I've known him. His past is like a nebulous mess that tries to bite him every once in a while. Nebulous? You hear so much random stuff, it's hard to make connections about what happened when. And you know, people lie. Does your boss know about it? She said I'm not the one to judge. Seems like she knows what the hell's going on. But I think I'm better off not knowing. It's not really necessary and it's a pain to think about. I'm right here, you know. Did I tell any lies? No, but... Uh, never mind. Oh yeah, about your boss, why was she wearing a helmet? She found it, she put it on, now she's stuck. Oh, yeah, randomly putting stuff on stuff you find is problematic. No shit. I mean, there's this girl that wanted to see if she could use the glass bottle as a... A bit early for those stories, don't you think? Nope. By the way, it's weird that I didn't see you yesterday. I have a job to do, too, you know? Yeah, but you usually come before you start. Aw, uh, did you miss me that much? Yesterday was a bit different. I worked the entire day. I don't know if I should ask. Oh, it was weird, but not kinky weird. The guy paid me to spend all day pretending to be his daughter. Oh my god. <laughs> god damn it. Yep. Yep. Oh my god, he actually really fucking- I thought he was lying! I thought he was fucking lying! That's beautiful! That's fucking amazing! I like that guy a lot more. Wow. It's fucking weird and I- I appreciate that. That is so fucking weird that I appreciate that so goddamn much. Like, he actually fucking did it. You dumb piece of shit. Really? Yeah, I go to his house at 11 a.m., dress up as requested, and spend all day there. Play some games, occasionally tell him I love him, go to bed when ordered, and leave. Nothing sexual. I used to expect him to push me against the ground and have his way with me. But after three years, it's unlikely that'll happen. Three years? Holy shit! Yeah, one day a year for three years now. Oh, but last year he also wanted me to play the part of his daughter's birth on his daughter's birthday. Wait a second, does he have a daughter or not? Had, seemed like she died four years ago. Aw, oh, shit. Oh. Yep. I seem attracted to that kind of... To that... I seem to attract that kind of people for some reason. What kind of people? Nobody. I said nothing. Give me a moon blast, would you? Sure. One moon blast coming right up. Well, if she says one moon blast coming right up, I guess I'd better make a mercury blast, right? Now, what's a moon blast? Sweet, girly, and happy. Huh. See, I should probably be, like, looking more into this, maybe making different drinks, but... Rocks. London. I don't know. She could probably handle more than this, though. Here. There's something interesting about this drink. I don't actually like it, but I can't stop drinking them. It tastes like a bit of a sugar, uh, like a bit of sugar drowned in pure alcohol. Small wonder you feel like that. There's something I've been meaning to ask you. Yes, I'm single, and I don't mind that you're a girl. Do you actually mind what anyone is? Not at all. Anyway, it's not about that. Do all DFC-72s look like kids? Yes and no. At a factory, we all look like kids because our development needs to be as close to human as possible. Then you look like babies outside the factory. Nope. Every fresh DFC-72 looks about 10 to 13. It makes it easier to upgrade later. Upgrade. Once a DFC-72 passes three maturity tests, it can opt for a factory upgrade. Set upgrade alters its body to something older. Some go for it, some don't. Will you go through it? I don't know. Right now I'm a rarity. You don't find many like me in my line of work, so I have an advantage. And I really need that advantage, you know. How so? 
When people hire me, half the time it's not because I'm me. The amount of role-playing I have to do on a normal nights is ridiculous. So, if I stop looking underage, I'll lose my advantage over everyone else. I didn't think about it that way. Should I think about it at all? I mean, maybe I'll go through with it if I ever decide to retire or something. But right now, I'm just fine the way I am. I see. Good evening, Gil. Alright, look at this dude. Holy crap, man. Jill and Gillian, welcome to... Does that happen a lot? Not really. It would happen less if Chill would just let people call her Jules. Call me Jules, then I'll make sure every time you sit, you'll hear the cling of your shaker. Fine, fine. I'll be with you in a minute, Jamie. Just let me finish here. Sure, no hurry. Hello, sailor. Hello, young lady. Just call me Dorothy. You're Jamie, right? Nice to meet you, Dorothy. Hey, hey, let me buy you a drink. Oh, I couldn't let you do that. I insist, I got a hefty bonus the other day, and I'm in, I'm in a good mood. I suppose it'd be impolite of me to reject. Sure, I'll take your offer. Hey, honor. I'll have a big sunshine cloud. I'll be fine with just a gut punch. Come on, don't be stingy. Ask for something more expensive. I'd rather not. Man, that girl puts me on edge with the way she addresses people. Okay then, let me get your orders. Oh, okay. Make both before serving. Gotcha. So, Sunshine Cloud and a Cup Punch. Press the next after the first mix to make a second drink. And make both before serving. So we're gonna go, by name, we're gonna get a Sunshine Cloud first. Uh, two of these. Um. Huh. Sure, we'll get a small call in there. And. On the rocks. And blended. So we'll make this first. And then slot two. So he said a gum punch, right? So let's look at a gum punch. That is a bitter, manly, strong. Let's go for manly. So that costs 80. That's 160. Huh. Huh. <laughs> um... Man. What do I want to do here? I, I'm thinking about getting something else. I really am. I want to make another suplex. I think that's what I'm going to do. He ain't just going to come here and drink a, uh... Two, three, four. Sorry. Got to remember what I'm doing here. But you're not just going to come in here and drink a gut punch. You're going to get the full fucking mix here, my man. Alright, we're putting down the rocks. We're going to mix this bad boy. You're going to drink this son of a bitch. And you're going to get wasted. All right, let us serve. Here you go. Is this your, I don't know what I'm doing, so have this order? I heard restaurants do that from time to time. You don't seem too upset about it. Because I really like this one. Hey, Dorothy, may I ask you something, uh, private? If you need a price list, I have a convenience, a convenient card with your updated fees. I can give you a discount if you pay for the room and invite me to dinner. No, thank you. It's not about that. Then, go ahead. I don't think you can ask me something I've never been asked before. Is it true that the DFC-72 line leaves tracking nanomachines and the other person after... well... 
after they violate every hole in your body regardless of its original purpose? Damn. Yeah, yeah. That's a semi-myth that nobody has tried to dispel. It's true, but also not true at the same time. Care to explain? We do have tracking nano machines, but they're released when the body enters alert mode. When we're being assaulted, or the like, that way the authorities can chase down the attacker. It's kind of buggy though. I've heard stories of DFC-72s who marry, get nervous on their wedding night, and BAM! Their partners end up spending the honeymoon in jail. I see. And besides, I've muddled myself so much that if any tracking nanomachines were still being released, I'd have to commend their tenacity, to be honest. There's also this urban myth that these nanomachines help improve performance, but that's just silly. Now I get to ask you something. Sure, go ahead. How much of you is still organic? Just enough that my skin still heals over time. Come on, you know that's not what I mean. I'll tell you that and nothing more, young lady. Fine, see if I care. Honey, I'm going. I'll leave you with the meanie. Thank you, please come again. That girl's something else, huh? She's so earnest about what she does that it's kind of hard not to root for her. She also has no qualms about anything whatsoever and becomes a problem from time to time. Okay, I'm done here. Right, I'm gonna go and take my... Gil, I need your girly hands here for a second here. <laughs> Wait, Gil. God damn it. And he doesn't even question it. What the fuck, Gil? God damn it. Alright, well, see ya, Gil. And your, see your girly hands later too, I guess. Sorry, can you take care of him while I help her? Sure, no problem. I apologize if I'm taking time from your break. Nah, don't worry. Sorry you'll have to deal with me. You're no problem, Jill. Yeah, but you usually seem to have a blast when Gil's the one serving you. Anyway, do you want something else? Can you make me a Mars Blast? That I can. Mars Blast, Mars. Better not give him any other kind of blast drink by accident. No, he doesn't like anything else, he just likes Mars. Okay. Uh, Powder Delta. One, two, three, four. And two of these. And just blend it, huh? I'm kind of tempted to give him a different blast drink because that sounds hilarious, but... No, I'll just do this. I already tried to fuck with the drink once today. Here. Bitter and mind-numbing, just like war. Have you been to war? Life's the world we fight every day, Joe. So you haven't been to a war. Not to an official one, at least. There's something I've been wondering for a while now. What could that be? First, it was how professional assassin how a professional assassin could be so polite and pleasant to be around. But, I guess your line of work doesn't have to be any bearing on your personality. Thanks a lot. What I've often wondered about people- well, about is how you can be so calm here. Aren't you worried about police or the like? Well, first of all, I try to keep everything as clean as possible. Second, I don't come here looking for trouble, so I don't raise suspicion. And finally, you can thank your boss for easing my mind about other folk. My boss? I've seen what she's done. I feel safe here. She could take care of things if I went haywire. Haywire? You? Don't mind that. Hard not to mind if you just said. Huh. You wouldn't happen to know how she got her mechanical arm, would you? I heard she lost her original fighting a cyborg wrestler that had gone rogue. Just a rumor, though. Damn, I still don't know that. Have you tried asking her? She told me it's more interesting if it's left a mystery, which leads me to believe that she might have started some of the rumors herself. They're believable because she's her. Maybe I'll see her in action one day. You should, it's quite the show. Good news, Jill. The helmet came off and you can now take your break. Finally. It's always a pleasure, Jamie. Thank you, Jill. Boss, break. All right. Dang. All right, so we met two interesting people. Two interesting people. Yeah, let's uh, let's save that. Just pop that here, I guess. Too bad we can't play on our phone while it's midday. It's safe to keep playing.